Take these seven words, I am the love of my God. I am the love of my God. Just consider for a minute. If I put it in terms of the Kriya, we start with I. God, the foundation of all things, his integrity. Without his integrity of love and faithfulness, there's nothing. I. The only person who can truly say, I am what I am. I, and then am, is the next development immediately, isn't it? I am, I exist, I am existence. A s what we understand to be a self-made being, the one who truly says I am. But remember, if we are born of God, we are of his making too, his substance. You know, the, his, his work is all over us, his handiwork. So the am, the creation, has the mark of his craftsmanship, his, his, his purpose, his values, everything. Do you see? We're children of God. Uh, we grow up into adults. Wow. What does that mean? I am the definite article, definitive. It's, um, it encompasses a completeness of something specific. And I'm thinking, of course, of the the peace, therefore, the shalom, that special abundance. I am the love. We come up to the heart, don't we? Love. Of. We speak out the relationship. We're a son of God, you see. Of is to state the relationship to. The very fact we praise is we value what he is. We have to be of the same values to do that, to do it in earnest and sincerely. Do you see we're of? My. We're up to the forehead, aren't we? My. My ego, my identity, my understanding of self, which can only be in relationship to others. In this case, God, my God, the transcendence, you see. Okay, come to the meaning of it for a moment. It's not two, but actually three meanings. Not sure as I haven't recorded on this before, but still, let me go through it. If we take the love of God, those four, leaving the I and the my out, therefore, it can mean my love for God, it can mean God's love for me. It can simply mean God's love. Not just for me. You know, our values is in some sense in, in this realm who we are. He is his love. All of his love. What he values. That defines who he is. From our perspective. So if we now put the I and the my in, we're now saying that one interpretation of the three, 
possible interpretations is that I'm identifying with that love. All of his love, not just his love for me, but for all. So we've got the three meanings that I am the love that I have for my father. Secondly, I am the love that he has for me. Thirdly, I am all that he is that defines him, his love for all. So it's a a seven word statement that is a bit strange. It has three possible meanings. They somehow mean much the same thing, in a way. They're from the same seven words, of course, as they're strung out. It's an interesting trinity, isn't it? And if we take the third interpretation, meaning, we can see God as all his love, all that he values, defines what he values. What he's made defines what he values too. What he loves defines who he is. Quite simply, the Father of all. God the Father. You know what I'm going to head towards, don't you? What's the Son? Well, the one who has a love for God. In the story, it's Jesus. In the world, it's you. You have a love for God. You're the Son. You're the Son of God. You are Jesus, in effect. In what sense, then, is the love of God... Let me start that sense again, a bit differently. The second interpretation was... God's love for you, that's the Holy Spirit. Of course, sends his Holy Spirit to guide you and lead you into all truth and righteousness, which is life eternal, to know God. And he's going to do it for you. He's going to unravel all all, all the misunderstandings you might have. It's the spirit of truth. Holy Spirit speaks only of the Father. So he reveals to you a sanctified understanding of Jesus from the story. Sanctified in the sense that it shows more of God always reveals how the story of Jesus, Jesus in particular, shows to you more of God. It's the Holy Spirit, isn't it? It's the third interpretation. So in these seven words we have an amazing trinity. Perhaps it's worth repeating these words from time to time. I am the love of my God. I am the love of my God. I am the love of my God. I am his love for all. I am his love for me, God speaking, in the I now. I am my love for God. It's not clear.
clear at times who the I is, is it? Because you're a child of God, you are of the same substance. Something eternal. Something at the very least in harmony with his values, if not indeed exactly his values. I'm not, not clear. I'm not sure as I can do it. I'm going to go through the seven words backwards, going down again, breathing out, if you like, in the Kriya. I think it's God, my, of love, am I. God, my, of love, am I. The preeminence of God but the next important thing is, he's my God. God, my. Now let me say again, see if I can get it right. God, my. Of love, thee am I. I missed out the thee, didn't I? So God, my of love. Better to say mine of love in a way, but my of love. The am I. Well, the I am, the am I. Do you see something of the fact that when we come down, God is everything. God, my of love. The am I. In other words, the preeminence of the third. Was it the third? Inter interpretation. That God, my God, God or mine of love. Emphasizing is my God of love. The am I. Almost says to me there is only God. On the way up there's the three, but on the way down there's only God. No, I'm not sure. I think it still has all three meanings. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, seven words there. I am the love of my God. I am the love of my God. I am the love of my God. Thank you, Dan. Hey, it occurs to me that <clears throat> oh, there's a sentence on the way out because it's got a verb, I am the love of my God. Coming down, it's not. It's God, my of love, the am I. The am loses its position as verb in the sentence and is simply part of the description of a name that is simply declared. Or an entity that's declared, God, my of love, the am I. In a way it says my name, your name. God, my of love, the am I. It's all that counts, you see, God. My God, of love. That qualifies the God in a way, doesn't it? God, my of love, mine of love. The am I qualifies it again, the one that can say, I am, am I? The one who can truly say, am I? But the whole thing is 
an entity, the name, an object, the object in the, of a sentence, but it's not in a sentence. It's simply a declaration, a an exclamation, not necessarily emphatically put, but, but emphatically stated. God, my of love, the am I. It's like saying, Earl of Warwick, (laughs) Master of the Rolls. It's like a title, God, my of love, the am I. I think it says it's who we are. After we've gone up, in the ascension, you see, to the heavenly place. I am the love of my God. God, my of love, the am I. I'm a complete heavenly being. Because I've met with God, if you like, I've become an adult, I am the love of my God. I'm complete, life eternal. God, my of love, the am I. Is simply a title of who I am. Hmm.